वेलकम टू दिस चैनल केमिस्ट्री मेड इजी बाय डॉक्टर अशोक मोरी टुडे वी विल सी द वी विल वी विल डिस्कसिंग एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड अंडर दिस टॉपिक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द फीलिंग अप ऑफ एनर्जी लेवल्स एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस फीलिंग अप ऑफ एनर्जी लेवल्स द इंटरप्रिटेशन बाय रिच so in last lecture we have seen how the energy levels split into different atomic orbitals and how are they arranged with increasing order of their energies <coughs> so that we will understand the correct order of filling up of these atomic orbitals with the electrons available in a given atom of the a given element we have also seen that last time the uh, atomic atoms of elements such as chromium and copper follow the different rules for distribution of electrons out of which chromium shows special half filled stability where the d orbital is half filled means one electron is carried from 4s to 3d so that d will be half filled means each of the five orbitals of d will be half filled means there is one electron in each of the d orbital and the s orbital also contains one electron similarly if we go to the next atom like copper we have seen that the atomic number of this copper is <coughs> Here yeah, twenty nine, so that as per the natural process, the four s is containing two electrons and d will contain nine electrons. But instead of this, the order is specially means changed so that the s electron from four s uh, the s electron one of the s electron moves to the d orbital so that d is completely filled. means all electrons get completely paired so that the d orbital becomes specially more stable so this type of arrangement is further discovered by the scientist rich so that we have shown that it is interpretation by rich so this type of distribution of electron is explained by rich in order to understand this we have to assume that or we have to consider that every atomic orbital every atomic orbital has same energy say for example it is 4s say for it is 4s then it has same energy but when there is only one electron say for example if this 4s contains one electron its energy is different again if we change or if we add one more electron to this again its energy changes means energy of the polaris is same its energy is same but by addition of one electron to this atomic orbital its energy rises <coughs> or means it has different energy and phoreus has also different energy when there are two electrons means when we add next thing similarly each of the d orbital will have also two energy levels means phoreus has two energy levels out of which one is heavy say here if we consider phoreus it has two energy levels that is what lower energy level is minus 1 half higher energy level is plus 1 half means these two energy levels are separated by some distance these two energy levels of phoreus is phoreus is one atomic orbital but it has two energy levels so this energy level lower energy level has spin minus 1 half the higher energy level of phoreus has spin plus one half this is important thing again similarly each of the d orbital each of the d orbital 
has also two speed levels. So these are speed levels. Similarly, D has also two speed levels. So one lower spin level is having spin minus one half. Higher spin level has plus one half. So these are shown here. So in case of for S, so we are shown here that red color energy levels of 4S. These are red color 4S and their spins are like this. The two levels, energy spin levels, these are two spin levels. So lower energy spin level has minus one half spin. Upper energy spin level has plus one half spin. <coughs> Means these are all similarly the D and orbitals also have two spin levels. One lower is with minus one half, higher is with plus one half. So similarly, <coughs> these two orbitals, I mean these two spin levels will occupy each different electron. <coughs> then, so this is about that. We should consider that even though the energy of given atomic orbital is one, same, but by addition of electron one or two in it, the spin levels are different. There are different spin levels. So that energy of that atomic orbital changes gradually with increasing order of the nuclear charge. So when we consider the D or by 3D elements, that is candium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, etc. <coughs> the nuclear charge means atomic number increases. Here the atomic number is 21, 22, 23, etc. Here it is 30. So with increase in the atomic number, the nuclear charge also increases. And because of the addition of nuclear charge, the electrons of D level are held strongly and strongly. The electrons of D levels are held strongly. So here you will find that in case of scandium, the nuclear charge is 21. So the energy levels or spin levels at relatively higher energy. So this is energy axis. But here the nuclear charge increases, it becomes 22. So here the nuclear charge is 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, <coughs> here the nuclear charge with the increase in nuclear charge, the attractive force, electrostatic force of attraction acting on the D electrons, electrons present in the D, shows the lowering of their D substrate, the energy level of D is lowering because the electron is strongly attracted towards the nucleus. So the D level is brought closer to the nucleus. That is why the energy of this D level is shown here decreasing rapidly. Comparatively, the energy level of S is not dropping or lowering so strongly. It remains Decreasing no doubt, but the decrease is not same as that is seen in case of D subsets. <coughs> Therefore, we should remember that this change is important. That is, the energy levels of S, spin levels of S or energy level of S is decreasing energy with increasing the nuclear charge. But this decrease is slow. But in comparatively in the case the orbitals, the a decreasing energy of D substrate is rapid. <coughs> Further, the pairing, this uh, the S subsea, S subsea has already subsea, has sometimes unpaired electron, it may have the two electrons which are getting paired. Similarly, in case of the orbitals, the electrons may be one or two, so that pairing is taking place. And when there is pairing of such electron, observe, then the pairing energy is contributing to the atomic electronic structure. And when there are number of unpaired uh, paired electrons, the energy means energy of the system increases because pairing energy is added to the system. 
so with the number of pair electron pairs present in the energy level or atomic orbitals the energy of the system goes on increasing now in order to understand how this electron distribution takes place along this uh, d elements three elements that is cadmium to zinc so we will add the electrons gradually here in these orbitals <coughs> so when we consider the scandium with 21 atomic number there are <coughs> previously filled the electrons like this so we are showing here the electron one so this one this is one so this is minus one oxygen another there is electron like this so this electron has plus one half C. Means these two electrons are paired together. Again, the D electron, there is only one electron in the D subshell. So that is with minus one half C. Again, if we, so this is the electronic configuration of scandium. That is 4s2, 3d1. <coughs> this plus one half is higher energy, so it is not fair. Again, if we go to titanium, one electron is increased. So, Horius with plus minus one up is one electron. This plus one up uh, <coughs> spin level has one electron. And the D level of minus one up spin now contains two electrons. So, here we will show two electrons in the D level. So, we are showing only one electron each in the plus one half and minus one half course. but in case of the will show also the because this minus one half spin level can contain five maximum unpaired electrons so this also contains five unpaired paired electrons so now we have to distinguish between them we are showing the number of electrons one here it is two so again if we go to 23 area there are also two electrons in this spin levels of S that is minus one up and plus one up. So two electrons goes into this four S. Again we have <coughs> three electrons in the means three electrons are coming into this <coughs> D subset because there are five D orbitals. So here first electron goes into one of the five D orbitals with minus one up spin. Now there are two electrons, so the two electrons goes into two different atomic orbitals of D subshell with same speed. That is minus one half speed. So these three electrons are also having minus one half speed. Means they are occupying three different atomic orbitals of D subshell. Now if we go to chromium, there is only one electron in the S subshell. Now here you can observe the situation that instead of this energy level of this 4s with plus one half spin is becoming slightly higher and the d level spin level minus one half is becoming lower so that instead of going the electron into 4s it goes into this here d subshell so this s subshell remains back so we are showing these electrons, third one, <coughs> means here naturally it should become four. And one more is from coming from S. So it becomes five. So this D level, so we have shown these five electrons in the D level. Means D level contains naturally four electrons. Plus the S electron also moves into D level. So it becomes five. And there is no electron in the 4s here in this chromium with plus one half spin. This s subshell has only one electron with minus one half spin. Now we have to go to mn, where this one electron is there with minus one half spin. Again, here the electrons means this subshell, this speed level minus one half, cannot exceed five electrons. It can occupy only five electrons maximum and if there is any more electron it should go to the plus one half spin level so the spin level five 
here it contains 5. Now the next electron goes to this S subset. So here it goes with S subset with plus 1 half speed. So it has 5 plus 2, 7 electrons. Now here it is 5 plus 1, 6 electrons, 3 plus 2, 5 electrons. Now again it will go to the B, 56, 56 atomic number. There is one electron in the 4s with minus 1 half spin. Again, there are same 5 electrons in the D orbital with minus 1 half. Then the S level contains one electron. Now how many electrons are there? There are 5 plus 2, 7 electrons and still there is one more electron. So it should go, it should go into this one. <coughs> that is D sub C having my plus one half spin here. So how many electrons are there? 5 plus 3 that is 8 electrons. Now here in the cobalt 27 this one electron goes with minus one half spin in 4s spin level. Then here it is D level has same 5 electrons. One electron here with is 4s spin level with plus one half. Then again this cobalt contains one more electron in the D subshell with plus one half spin level. So it becomes two electrons. So how many electrons are total here? 5 plus 3 plus 1, that is 4. So here it is. <coughs> 5 plus 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Then we have here nickel. Nickel it is here 1. Then 5 electrons in this D orbital. Then here the nickel has three electrons here and one electron here. It is the D level is slightly higher here. Again, here if we go to your copper, copper has again here five electrons in the lower spin level that is D. Again, one electron in here, copper. There is also five. The D level should have, D naturally it should have four electrons, but here four plus one from four uh, S. So it becomes five. Five electrons in this D level. And S level has no electron. So here totally it becomes five plus one uh, uh, 10 plus one that is 11 electrons. Here the electrons are few, 6, 7, and these 3 that is 10 electrons. Now the zinc has 30 electrons, out of which 5 goes into 3D with speed level minus 1. Again, 1 electron here with speed level S with minus 1. Again, this D orbital has 5 electrons and one electron in this 4s. So in this way, the electronic distribution of these orbitals, atomic orbitals, in this elements, in the atomic orbitals, atom, atoms of these 3D elements each taking place. So we have shown the various possibilities here. So copper, you will find that the D orbitals, this lower energy, minus one half spin level and plus one half spin level occupies one five electrons each means this D or D subshell is paired but here S subshell has only one electron here it is no electron so S subshell remains half free and this is called a spatially completely free stability so if D subshell is completely free here you find that the D subshell is half free so here copper chromium shows half in the spatial stability in case of D subshell. Here it is also you will find that the S subshell is half filled. There is no electron in the S subshell with plus one half spin. And there is also no electron here 
up to this Fe. So Fe has first electron going into plus one half spin level of D sub C. So here you will find that there are various such possibilities. We can also describe this in different way. You can try this using the energy levels such as say 1, these are 5 d orbitals, 3d orbitals and this is 4s orbital. So you can go on distributing the same in this way. So I am showing it as a sample case for say scandium. So scandium has this 4s completely filled away and one electron in the 3d. So in this way you can go on adding and try the distribution of electrons as per this diagram so that you will understand perfectly how the distribution takes place. So this distribution is explained by reach and hope that you have understood it clearly. <coughs> so that now we will stop here our discussion and we will continue the discussion in the next lecture. So till then goodbye see you next time. Please keep watching this channel and subscribe to this channel. Also <coughs> please Press the bell icon button and like button. So thank you very much.